Well, hello. Welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger on uh, February 26, 2021. Uh, some good news today. Um, I know I didn't really talk about this on the previous video, but this has been a really, really, really stressful week. Now, those people around me probably couldn't tell. <laughs> Because I'm usually keep uh, very good or very bad, depending on how you look at it, keeping this kind of stuff to myself. But uh, been really stressful. Uh, girlfriend being in the hospital for a medical procedure, and it was uh, kind of nerve wracking, and uh, it's hard to uh, see her going through that. And because of the border closure and the pandemic, the stupid pandemic. Uh, couldn't be couldn't couldn't even be there uh, with her. So Yeah, uh, all I could do was just stay home and hope for the best and uh, and just like uh, Fidget in when I didn't hear any news and so on and so on. So uh, Today she had the procedure done and finally uh, is Recovering nicely everything went well. She is eating. She is not in a lot of pain. So Everything going good, so uh, I'm very happy and very relieved at this point. And so because of that, we are going to do some exercises. Well, okay, no, we are going to do some exercises regardless. But uh, anyway, uh, it, it's a good day. It's a really good day, to be sure. Um, so, I thought about uh, that we, we have done a lot with calisthenic. We've done a lot with body weight. And we've done some with dumbbells, but I think one of the issues, at least when I was first starting uh, to do a free weight workout at home, the first issue I ran into was, okay, now I got my dumbbell, what am I supposed to do with them? I know bicep curl, and then I know tricep extension. And that was about it. Like, I maybe knew four exercises, and it was really boring in the beginning. Uh, of course, back then, I, there was no Google or YouTube. I hope you guys can see me, by the way. Uh, I, I'm still not very good at positioning the camera using the new uh, camera stand my friend got me. So, if you guys can't see me uh, or uh, can't see what I'm doing, definitely let me know, and we'll try to fix that. Um, so, nowadays, of course, it's easy for people to find out a list of exercises to do with dumbbells and stuff like that, and Google, and YouTube, and who knows, maybe that's how you found me, maybe that's how you found this video. If you did, then good, you're taking the first step uh, into uh, looking for answers. So, to reward you, and to give the rest of us a refresher uh, course, I'm going to show the eight simple beginner exercises you can do with dumbbells. Eight simple beginner exercises to start you up. Uh, remember, even if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can easily fill a couple of four liter milk jugs or two liter water bottles and use them, okay? Um, you don't always need dumbbells. You can make your home weights. For example, uh, I don't have something of the proper weight uh, for beginner dumbbell. So what I got here is I took a pair of uh, small-ish dumbbell. I attached a pair of he uh, heavy sandbags to them to make hand weights. Uh, so these are not as heavy as my heavy dumbbells, because there are some moves that uh, if I was to do with the heavy dumbbells, it's too much of a strain. Uh, and these are definitely heavy enough for uh, all the movement to work for this video. So, assuming you got your dumbbell, your hand weights, whatever you're using, you need two, one for each hand, of course. We're going to start with the most basic, which is the standard bicep curl okay i'm going to show you two variations uh that's the way i was taught 
Why do we start with bicep curl? Because this can lead into several of the follow-up exercises. Yeah. Oh, but the eight exercises I show you today, if you get creative, if you are comfortable, you can mix and match and combine them into several new variations. I'll show you as we go along. So one bicep curl, the standard is stand with your feet apart, shoulder width apart, keep your knees slightly bent, have your dumbbell one in each hand, let them hang by your side with your palm facing forward. Okay, now this is a, here's a little tip for you guys. For beginner, all you have to do is try to keep your elbow as close to your body as you can and just curl upward and get these as close to your face as you can. Hold for one second at the top and slowly let them down. When you're lifting, for the most part, always curl or push hard and then when you release, release slowly. This is to minimize injury. So as you look, if I'm going to curl, I can curl up super fast like this and I hold and then I let it slowly go down and then curl up, hold and slowly go down and curl up, hold and slowly go down. Okay. So the release should always be slow. This is the standard bicep curl. Now, if this one is too difficult, let me show you guys the variation that I was taught. You need something to put your leg up on. So I can put a chair or a bed, a sofa or a weight bench, whatever you have. Okay, I'm going to put my left foot on the sand beanbag chair here. I'm going to lean forward and put my left elbow on my left knee with the weight in my left hand. Okay, and I'm going to extend, let it go down until my arm is straight. And then I curl up until this dumbbell or weight touches my chin. Go, let it go down again and then curl up with my knee, with my leg behind the arm. It makes it a lot easier because there's an anchor point. If your sharp elbow is hurting your leg, then put cup your right hand and put it under your elbow. Okay, like this. I have my right hand on my left leg and my elbow, left elbow resting in the palm of my right hand. Okay, straight curl, straight curl, straight curl. All right. Now, since we already have been using the beanbag chair, I'm going to show you guys uh, the next exercise, which is a, a tricep kickback. Because this, you also need to use your chair or bench or beanbag, whatever. Okay, so this is how you do this. Hold the dumbbell in your right hand. Put your left knee Go down on your left knee, put your left knee and shin on the platform or chair or whatever, right? And then put your left hand, lean forward, put your left hand on the same platform like this. Okay, so now I'm on my right foot, and I'm on, on my left knee, my left knee and my left hand resting on the platform. Okay, and I want to draw my right elbow back until my right arm is bent 90 degree, the dumbbell. Is resting by my rib cage, keeping my elbow tucked in nice and tight. I want to extend my arm until it's straight and the dumbbell is behind me in the air like this. And then I let the dumbbell come back to my rib cage, extend behind, come back to the rib cage, extend behind, come back to the rib cage, extend behind. Okay, very small movement, good for your tricep. And, okay, we're going to be able to, we, when you get brave enough, confident enough, you can combine this with your bicep curl. This is how you would do this. With my left knee 
on the platform and I bend forward, put my left hand on the platform. I'm going to let my right arm hang, hang down freely, holding the dumbbell. And I'm going to do a bicep curl to touch the weight to my face and then let it down until my arm is straight. Once my arm is straight, I pull my elbow back until the dumbbell is against my rib cage, and then I straighten my arm behind me. Tricep, okay? So you curl, touch the chin, pull back, touch the rib cage, extend, work the tricep. Curl, touch the chin, pull back, touch the rib cage, and extend behind me for the tricep. Next, we're going to do some shoulder press. Just so you guys can see me better, I'm going to go down on my knees for this. You don't have to do it on your knee. You can do it sitting down, standing up, however you like. Okay, so. Hold the dumbbell, one in each hand. Bring it up to your, beside your ear, one beside each ear. Let your elbow flare out to the side as far as you can. And then from this position, push up until your arms are straight. Hold for one second, come back down slowly and push up. Hold, come back down slowly and push up. Hold, come back down slowly and push up. Hold, come back down slowly. Shoulder press. Now, you can of course, combine that with your bicep curl as well. So I'm going to, I can just stay in this position kneeling with my dumbbell hanging down by my leg. I do a bicep curl, curl, bring the dumbbell to my ears, turn my hand so my palms facing forward, my elbow flare out, push upward, shoulder press, come back down, Turn my hand again so my palm face the ceiling. Drop down. Again, bicep curl. Turn the wrist. Shoulder press. Come back down. Go back down. Bicep curl. Turn the wrist. Shoulder press. Come back down. Turn the wrist. Drop back down. Okay. Next. I'm going to show you guys, for me anyway, it's always the hardest of uh, dumbbell exercises. It's a lateral lift. Lateral lift. And this is how you do it. Let me grab my dumbbell. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold one dumbbell in each hand. Let it ham hang beside your legs, arm straight, and then lift your arm up to the side until the, your, your body forms a T. Now, one little trick is you want to keep your elbow slightly bent, otherwise you'll hurt your elbow, okay? So, I'm standing, my feet are shoulder width apart, the dumbbells are hanging by my leg. I'm going to lift them up to the side until just straight across, hold, come back down, up, hold, come back down, up, hold, and come back down, up, hold, come back down, just like that, okay? Now, what can we combine this with? Of course, we can combine this with shoulder press. The previous one. This is how you do it. Lateral lift up to the side, and then when you're at the top, bring the dumbbell to your ear and then press up to the sky. Come back down to by your ear. Open your arm out to the side. Drop back down. Okay, do this nice and slow so you don't overextend, hyperextend your elbow. Out to the side. Curl in to the ear, push up, 
drop back down, flare out, come back down, out, ear, press, down, out, down, like that. Next one, I'm going to show you guys. It's the uh, uh, this time you can you can actually get to lay down. So that's cool. I don't have a bench here. I'm going to lay down on the floor, and hopefully you guys can still see me. Lay down on the floor with your back and your feet flat on the ground, your knees bent. Okay. Make sure you press your lower back into the ground. Hold one dumbbell in each hand with your palms facing towards your feet, your elbows tight against your ribcage. From this position, if you can actually touch your chest with the dumbbell, that's cool. Okay, if not, that's okay. Now from this position, take a deep breath and push up hard. And hold at the top and slowly come back down as soon as the back of your arm touches the floor, push up again. Hold. Come back down. As soon as the back of your arm touches the floor, push up again. Hold. Come back down. So, touch, push. Hold. Come back down. Touch, push. Hold. Come back down. Push. Hold. Come back down. Your The back of your arm should never rest on the ground it can touch but as soon as you touch you want to drive upward until your arms are straight again okay i don't I, I don't know if you guys can see it but when i'm pushing up hard enough that the sandbags attached to my uh dumbbell are actually jumping when they hit the end of my push like this like that come back down push Okay, the sandbag is giving a little jump at the top. That's how hard your presses should be. Of course, you don't want to do it too hard that you hyperextend your elbow. Exercise number six, the wood chop. People who like to play golf or people who do any kind of twisting exercises Dragon boulders, this is for you guys as well. Dragon boulders, golfers, hockey players, anyone who needs to develop their twisting rotational power, this one's for you guys, okay? Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart. Hold one dumbbell, listen up, one dumbbell with both hands. So you only need one dumbbell for this one. Hold one dumbbell, in both hands. Okay. Go down to a squat and turn your body until your dumbbell is by your the right knee, outside of your right knee. So you squat down, turn, dumbbell go to your right knee, and then when you stand up, you twist back to center, and your dumbbell should be above your left shoulder. Keep your arms straight the whole time, like this. Squat, load, twist back to left shoulder, hold, squat, go back to right knee, stand up, swing it up to above left shoulder, hold, squat down, load it by the right knee, stand up, twist above left shoulder, my arms stay straight the whole time, and then of course after 20 of these, you switch over to squat, load by the left knee, when you stand up, twist to the right, until it's above your right shoulder, arm straight, squat down again, bring it over to the left knee, come up, swing it up, to the right, just like that. When you are confident with your movement, then you can start doing this in alternate. 
uh, swings. This is what I mean. Okay. I hold the dumbbell in both hands. I squat, load it by the right knee, swing up to the left. I squat, load it by the left knee, swing up to the right. I squat, load it by the right knee, swing up to the left. I squat, load it by the left knee, swing up to the right. So with every swing, I change direction. Number seven, lunges. Okay, this is very standard. You just do your lunges while holding onto your dumbbell, but you can make it interesting too, depending on how you hold your dumbbell. Let me show you. Okay, so first, a lunge. Hold your dumbbell, one in each hand, legs, feet, shoulder width apart. Take one big step forward with your left foot and then bend your leg until your right knee almost touching the ground and then stand up and step back. Take a big step forward, bend your legs until your right knee is almost at the ground, stand up, step back. Great for your leg, okay? This is a standard lunge, just holding dumbbell by your side, nothing fancy there. Now, if you want to get fancy about it, then we can add lateral lift with this. And this is how you do it, okay? I'm going to do a lunge, bend my right knee almost to the ground, and as I stand up and step back, I do a lateral lift. Come back down, lunge again, come back into a lateral lift. Come back down, lunge again, come back into a lateral lift come back down, okay? You can even change it to shoulder press and lunges, bicep curl and lunges, up to you, very versatile. Very good for your legs, very good for your balance. Last one, you get to sit down for this one, woohoo! Okay, so you need a steady platform behind you, either a bed, weight bench, Something that is not going to move when you lean your weight on it, okay? And something that's low enough that you can actually put, uh, it should be below your shoulder level, okay? Or mid-back. You don't want something too, too tall, you'll hurt your neck, okay? So when you sit down with your back against the platform, okay? Lean back like you are on the beach. Just lean back nice and comfortable uh, and put your weight on the platform. Okay, uh, a sofa is really good for this one, by the way. Bend your knees and bring your feet flat to the ground. Bring your heel close to your bottom. I sound like a British guy, your bottom. Okay, grab your dumbbell and put your dumbbell in your lap, eh, on your side, right below your groin, eh, on your side. Okay, hold your dumbbell there and lift your butt off the ground eh, until your torso is flat, like you're holding up a table, okay? You're supported by your feet on the ground and your back against the platform. Hold at the top and then drop your bottom down. This is a dumbbell hip thrust. Dumbbell hip thrust or dumbbell bridges, okay? It's just like a regular bridge, but you're leaning your back against the platform and with dumbbell in your lap, okay? So with dumbbell in your lap, back against the platform, we drive our hip up, hold and down, up, hold and down, up, hold and down. Now, when this is getting too easy, just start moving your feet away from your hip, away from your butt. The further away your feet are, the harder this is, okay? The further away your feet are, harder it is, okay? With my feet close to my butt, it's so easy for me to come up into the table position. But with when I push my heel, walk my feet further out, then oh, it's a lot harder. Okay. Can we uh, combine this with any of the previous movements? 
Yes, you can, but I highly recommend you don't. Reason being, when your body weight is suspended between your feet and your shoulder or back supported by a platform, you don't want to mess around with changing your movement. You might end up hurting your neck. Okay, so that is the only one out of the eight that I suggest you don't combine with anything else. The rest. Just do whatever you want, as long as you don't hurt yourself. So I know these are really, really basic stuff, but、uh, I hope there will be enough to get you guys going and give you a good workout with your dumbbell. Thank you for checking out today's Business Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Survival Saturday. For now, have a good night.